We're off on another adventure. Here we go. <laughs> Welcome to Hey On Why, world renowned for books and bookshops, which is kind of the reason we're here today. Its unique position on the border between England and Wales makes Hay ideal for visitors to explore and enjoy its beautiful bordered country. So as described, there are many, 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 many bookshops. And being avid readers ourselves, we thought we'd take a little look at this place and hopefully not come up with too many books. <laughs> Our first destination saw us go into the biggest bookshop of them all. Located somewhat near the centre of town, it is a bookshop that was originally a cinema and then converted into a bookshop. With many books being delivered and donated to the shop, they even put some of their books outside because there isn't even enough room inside for the books. So from that you can tell they both deal with first-hand and second-hand books, which I thought was pretty neat. Most are in pretty good condition, to be fair, considering some are displayed outside. But the fun is when you get inside. Like I said, it originally was a cinema, so you can imagine how much room there is in this building. And all of it was converted into just loads of shelves for all the books to be displayed. And I mean many, many, many rows of shelves with many, 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 many books. Dealing in any category you could think of, from fantasy to crime, to geographic, health and fitness, or even there's a small section up top stairs with little postcards and maps even. They are literally filled from the top to the very bottom filled with books. With the biggest one out of the way, we then headed around town to see what else there was. We're finding shops big and small, all just filled with books. I, I know this is the town of bookshops and stuff, but it was still quite surprising to see how actually many shops there were dedicated to books. And they were all hiding behind little corners, nooks and crannies of the town. I think we did ended up doing like three, four loops around the town, just to be sure we didn't miss any. It's just one of those towns where you could grab a drink, a coffee, tea, anything, and you could just sit in one of these bookshops for hours. But there was one shop that was my absolute favourite, and it was one that also dealt with first and second hand books. And this one had like three floors of just books. And I managed to find a little category that uh, piqued my interest, actually. And if you don't know what, and if you don't know what these are, these are manga books, which are kind of. Japanese graphic novels, to uh, put it simply. I have a little collection of my own at home and uh, I'm missing a few so I was really excited to actually see some of these because I thought they wouldn't have any to be honest. Here you can see uh, my I found my favourite, <laughs> one I've uh, actually been missing in my collection. shocked at how many there were like i said I'd, i knew this was the town of bookshops but to see so many and there was quite a few outside actually there was a whole alleyway filled with books as well which i did not know you could do <laughs> but it was so cute and pretty i can see why many people come down here to visit and to top off the day on a high note just by where we parked, there was a little sweet shop that we wanted to visit before we left. Nice little sweet treat to uh, treat ourselves with. We'll probably gobble down on the way home. <laughs> it probably won't last long. 
but we all managed to get something and then that was the end of our journey and then we headed back to our car to say farewell short but sweet and probably definitely would be visiting again but with only so much room in the car we had to say goodbye hey guys welcome to the end of the video uh this was probably a short one shorter than i thought it would be uh but the reason for that is i didn't want to record too much because this was a um special thing i was doing for my mum so it wasn't really an adventure i had planned it was something i'd planned for someone else but i thought i'd take the cameras with me anyway and see what i recorded <laughs> That was a long, that was a long sentence. Um, I thought I'd take you guys with me and see what stuff I'd record because it was kind of an interesting place. It was somewhere way from where uh, we usually do our stuff um, at a little place called Hay on Y. I don't know if I mentioned that. Probably did, but I'll mention it again. But yes, uh, it is the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed this kind of different vibe of uh, content. Uh, it's not our usual kind of you could see our stuff's more thrilling than uh, an adventure to a town full of books <laughs> but anyways guys if you like the video please leave a like and if you haven't subscribed already then do it uh, we've got lots of content coming out hopefully this year if everything goes uh, smoothly <laughs> hoping to get a few ideas uh, recorded uh, maybe in advance and actually spend a good amount of time on them rather than the quick and easy uh, editing that I usually go for but anyways <laughs> keep an eye out on the content that we've got coming out for you guys um, leave a comment down below on what you'd like us to you know do this year like what you'd like to see us do this year uh, probably got some kayaking and paddleboard and stuff uh, coming uh, towards maybe April time just when it gets a little bit warmer to get out there <laughs> Um, so yeah, we'll be doing that again as usual, maybe coast in again, see how high of a jump I can do after five months of not going in the water. That's a fun one. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video and uh, we will see you next Monday for another uh, adventure, 5pm. See you guys, bye bye!